to my crazy skirt. This is Joking Jossie Defoe. Today I want to talk about the Xbox One and also the PC gamers because lately they received the beta uh, for uh, Black Ops 3. And you know, us the PS4 gamers, you know, we, we pretty much received the Black Ops 3 beta one week earlier than the, these other two consoles. And um, what I want to say is um, it was a good week, you know, for Black Ops 3. It was super fun, and, uh, but uh, towards the end, you know, the servers kind of went to shit. They were lagging as hell. That's why uh, you got an extended day and uh, we got six days instead of five. So, um, the, the beta overall, I would like to say it was super fun. You know, I liked it. And, you know, Black Ops 3 is, um, well, something new. So, um, what I want to say is that, um, now, one of the first things, you know, Xbox One players and PC gamers, they're going to notice is that the Black Ops 3 game is kind of sluggish. It's actually slow paced. So, uh, compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, where you get to jump super quick, move super, super quick and dash, you know, pretty much left and right uh, fast and um, also, you know, pretty much run all over the place fast. But this year in Black Ops 3, it kind of felt slower. You know, I did play Call of Duty Events Warfare maybe like a week before the Black Ops 3 beta. And um, right away on my first day, on my first minute for Black Ops 3, it felt like, um, you know, I felt heavy. I felt like I was kind of slow. So, um, also in the sensitivity, every time I would like to turn around, it just felt slow. You know, So overall, this game is just slow paced game. It's not gonna be the same thing as Call of Duty Events Warfare. When, you, when we all saw the trailers for the jumping and the wall running and everything, you know, it, it's it was actually slow. The wall running is just normal speed. The jumping is normal speed. The the sprint is normal speed. Also, you may have an uh, unlimited sprint, but overall, is it's really just not that fast at all. And then we don't even have the lightweight perk in the game. So um, yeah, we're pretty much gonna be running super slow so everybody's at, at, at the same speed no matter what um, another thing you're gonna notice about this game is the weapons they all freaking work compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because Advanced Warfare they only had two functional weapons and that was the ASM-1 and the bow and now this game has the VMP, the Vesper, the uh, uh, field assault rifles here, there, um, I believe it's called the HBV or something like that. HVB, I think it's HVB. I don't have the, they move the names all over the goddamn place. Um, they have the CUDA, they had, you know, the shotguns, shotguns work perfectly too. Um, they have like around another four functional SMGs. I don't know, like it's an all-around game, so you're not really stuck with one assault rifle and one SMG the whole game. You can just move around with, the, with your weapons and customize them as you're liking. Because, you know, in reality, it's just depends on your comfort. You would do good, pretty much. You're not stuck with one weapon. Like in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, when when uh, when what it was only like the the bow and the ASM one. So. Yeah, there's a big difference right there. So, um, so yeah, in the maps, I would like to say they're okay. I mean, they're not, you know, pretty much like awesome. They don't, they're, they're not percent nothing new, but they kind of feel like new. That's it. <laughs> it's probably because of the, the way the routes are done. Because um, in Black Ops 2, they, these kinds of routes, routes or routes, whatever, um, they seem kind of similar, you know, to the old school uh, maps and. They really don't present nothing new to the game, so I would like to say the maps are kind of recycled, but uh, at the same time, you know, it pretty much allows you to play. So um, it's really not that big of a deal. You know, the maps just feel recycled sometimes. So um, another cool feature is that you can actually see your legs. Wow. <laughs> uh, and also, once you finish your ammo on your gun, you're not actually carrying a wood knife anymore, so you can no longer panic knife like half of the time, unless you equip the knife. Um, you can actually punch out somebody. That's something cool to do to like look around so for. So um, so yeah, that's all I wanted wanted you guys to um, to know. You know the Xbox One players and the PC gamers that uh, you know are pretty much gonna be uh, slow. Uh, the the way the weapons are are gonna be kind of different. The maps are kind of similar to the ones in Black Ops 3. That's why I wasn't surprised so much about the maps. Um, the wall running, you know, is nothing new. It's really just 
regular speed. I thought it was going to be faster or something. Because um, a long time ago, I remember YouTubers talking about, oh, you got to do combo speeds. Like, you got to go to a certain wall, then to the next wall, and then to the next one, and you'll be super fast. Bullshit. I've done it. There's no such thing as combo speed or something like that. So, um, yeah, like, it's just slow paced. It's similar to Modern Warfare 3 because Modern Warfare 3 had the same problem where everybody was just super slow. So, um, it's not that big of a, of a problem. It's just that um, you just gotta have the weapon of your liking. That's it. Because the attachments this year are kind of like more mixable. So, that's it, guys. If you guys uh, like my warnings or my tips, you know, to the Xbox One gamers and the PC gamers, leave a like on the video. So, that's it. Subscribe for more. If you guys wanna see more Black Ops 3 beta multiplayer.